I'm gonna explain how the body works. So there are your middle ear canals, right, in your two ears. Let's go inside to see why it is you get motion sickness. Now you notice your head is moving, right, but your eyes might be following the horizon. Why does that cause motion sickness? Those little structures are called the semicircular canals. There are three of them, three circles, they're like a gyroscope. And there's huh. fluid inside of there connected to that yellow structure, which is the nerve that goes to your brain. Now when the fluid is moving in the wrong direction, doesn't match what's happening to your eyes, the fluid shakes the nerve cells in the ear, but your eyes are giving you a different message. It's that mismatch that causes it's motion It's a confusion thinking. between those right. two. Right. And for example, hormones change that. Hmm. So kids, age two to 12, very high incidence. Every kid gets motion sickness. They, they get miserable over it. Women, as they approach menarche, their first menstrual cycle, they get more uh, uh, car sickness? Car sickness. And actually, How weird. There have been studies done on this. Women huh. in the, before menses perimenstrual uh. are more likely to get car sick than if they're periovulatory. Wow. So the end of the cycle is a more dangerous time to travel. And I just bring this up because the hormones actually affect that fluid. And I want to show you how to hack it so you don't get car sick again. Are we all okay. that? Sure. All right. So do you want me to wear this? You want to wear this? All right. Ah, there we go. I look okay. stupid often, so yeah. I'm happy to. That's, that's yeah. so perfect. Now, how there's, chic. But the, now, there's one little thing you got to do, though. Come on over here. Yeah, you, yeah. you got to get on this. <laughs> All right, you didn't say that. <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh eyes. Oh, okay, now. Meme, if you break me, you buy I, me. I, I, <laughs> A body without even breaking. Now, okay. as you go back and forth, notice the fluid shifts in your in your ears, right? These represent your ears, those two canals, but your eyes are looking at the, that's I how you're doing no this. I have no idea what he's saying, none. <laughs> now, the eyes are focusing on one spot, right. your brain thinks you're not moving, but your head, your ears are saying you're moving back and forth on this contraption. Okay? Right. Before you break, come on off. Can I get in the car now? Yes, you can get in the car. <laughs> come sit down and we'll spread. Okay. Why does that matter? Okay. You wanna drive, you want me to drive? No, you drive. So let's get in the car. We're gonna hit the road. You ready? Okay. All right. Now I'll, I could tell jokes now because we're driving together down okay. the road. But instead, I'm gonna teach you how to avoid getting car sick. So I just okay. showed you something really important. If your eyes and your brain agree, you won't get car sick. Okay. So if your head's bopping around like this, right, that's a problem. So don't air dance or no. karaoke. No air dancing. <laughs> okay. Why don't don't you, do that. Well, instead, you can put your head on the headrest, and it actually will stabilize your neck. Not that far back. Just uh, comfortably back, right? Okay. And then if you get car sick, make sure that you sit in the front, or at least... You need to be able to see where you're going, right? That way your eyes can track mm. what your brain and your, and your ears are right. telling you. You can keep track of right. the road a little bit better. And you don't want to be hungry in a car. These ginger candies? Yeah. So I, I love when they're these ancient treatments that really seem to work. They would use ginger for people who are sick, but ginger actually does soothe to the To calm stomach. your tummy, like yeah. when your, your mom gives you ginger ale when you're a little kid. Exactly, yeah. but you know, ginger ale doesn't really have much ginger in it anymore. Right. You actually need to get, not, by the way, these are not candy bar gingers. These are real gingers. No, these are just pieces of ginger. My mom loves these. Yeah. We always have these at home. And they work well. And let me give you one more alternative approach that really okay. does work. These are acupressure points. You, a lot of you see these in stores. They're very inexpensive. They really work. What, so where do you put a, this? There's a little pressure point on the inside. Notice? Right. So put that right in the middle of your wrist on this side. There's a meridian that it puts pressure on. And this is from traditional Chinese medicine, which is a no very kidding. rich heritage of dealing with common problems like motion sickness. And you put it on your, on your wrist? Put it on your wrist like this with the button on the bottom. I got gotcha. you. And it actually impacts on people. <laughs>